Hi, welcome to the Brief Book Reviews channel, otherwise known as An Old Guy Reviews, the book that he's read this week. So what's the old guy read this week? Well, the book I've read this week is this one called The Mother by author T.M. Logan. T.M. Logan, it tells us on the front, is the master of the up all night thriller. Well, who doesn't like an up all night thriller? So I thought, give it a blast. Uh, seventh book by T.M. Logan, previous six all well received. Uh, Richard and Judy book club picks here in the UK. Sunday Times bestseller list, etc. So, all worth a go. Uh, it was released as a hardback on the 2nd of March 2023 here in the UK, and it's coming out next week, 3rd of August 2023, as a paperback. Uh, so, what's it all about, I hear you say? Well, the story focuses on a lady called Heather, Heather Vernon. Heather is married to a guy called Liam Vernon, who is an MP, a member of parliament for uh, their, their town of Bath, uh, which is a city in the southwest of England. Uh, they've got two children, Theo and Finn. Uh, Heather works as uh, an HR manager for an IT company and leads a very busy life. Um, Heather is getting increasingly worried about her husband. Her husband, Liam, um, is working very hard at both as a constituency MP, but also he's on select committees, etc. And he's becoming a little bit um, evasive, a little bit not really there recently. And she's concerned that he's having an affair. And... Uh, confronts him one night uh, he's on the phone to he's telling her his constituency manager and it turns out her constituency manager is on the other phone the one in heather's hand so heather you know, basically storms off on a half and he's saying look i can't explain to you but not now heather goes to bed woken up the next morning by her children theo and finn uh, dad is a dad is asleep on the uh, on the couch goes down and find that Daddy wasn't asleep. Daddy was, in fact, dead, and he's been stabbed, blood everywhere, on his white T-shirt. Um, the police are called. They can find no sign of forced entry, no sign of any fingerprints in the house that belong to anybody that shouldn't be there. The, the dog, their dog Jet, wasn't disturbed. So they immediately think, it must be the wife. You know, the neighbours have heard an argument, and they put two and two together, make, make four, and... and Heather is, is tried for Liam's murder and sentenced to 18 years. We fast forward 10 years with Heather coming out of jail on licence. Well, nine years, in fact, on licence. She meets her probation officer and is told that under no circumstances must she uh, contact anybody to do with the previous case uh, uh, concerning her husband's death. That's a bit difficult, as you can imagine, because Heather is determined to... A, prove her innocence, B, find out who did it, and also reconnect with her two children if she misses terribly. So Heather sets up a, a fairly motley crew. Jody, one of the, uh, one of the former, uh, one of the inmates at the hostel that she's staying at for people just released from prison, a freelance journalist who covered the case called Owen, and also her, um, her sister-in-law, uh, Liam's sister, Amy, who is still uh, who's looked after her boys while Heather's been in jail and, and also considered a confidant and a friend. So the tale unfolds. Um, Heather is, uh, you know, she's, she's convinced that the police not necessarily have gone the wrong way, but they've been a result of a noble cause corruption, whereas where the police decide that there is only one possible solution to this um, problem, and ignore all, all other leads, you know, all the loose edges, if you will. Um, so this story is about Heather seeking revenge and redemption. Uh, we have, uh, as usual with a murder mystery, we have people who aren't quite as they seem. We have uh, mysterious people trying to warn people off talking. And all in all, it's a very good thriller. Um, very fast paced, no fluff, no long descriptive pose getting in the way. Uh, it's really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I'd give it 8 out of 10. Um, if you like murder mysteries, you know, if you like revenge thrillers, then, then this is for you. Um, so as I said, really enjoyed it. I'd give it 8 out of 10. Uh, that's it for this week's Brief Book Review. Oh, I forgot to mention, 403 pages, so not too much of a... I, I read it in two sessions. So that's it for this week's Brief Book Review. 10-10, uh, till we do it again. Thanks for watching. Bye.